This week on the Stogie Geek Show, Joe D and I are smoking the Tatuaje 7th Kappa Especial, and we're going to be discussing a little bit of housekeeping, what it's like from a retail perspective about housekeeping and shelf space in the humidor, uh, especially after the 2017 IPCPR show. Some of the smokes that we're looking forward to uh, smoking and coming up. And I also had a chance, and I think Joe D did too, had a chance to smoke some of the 2017 IPR, uh, IPCPR stuff. So that'll be in the Stogies of the Week. Thank you. We'll be right back. This is a Security Weekly production. Broadcasting live from Villiger North American Studios, it's the show where cigars burn slow, ashes fall fast, and cocktails flow steady. It's the Stogie Geek Show. Hat tip, can we play the- Yeah, one more time. Can I hear a... Yes! Yes! Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy the dirt! Guests and friends here in studio, including a regular cast of characters, Mr. Joe Hollywood to my right. How are you? That's awesome. Joe D's here. Rain Man's here. Happy What's going be, uh, on, I Joe D? Round table discussions. Havana Cigar Club, located in Warwick, Rhode Island, is a great place to enjoy a drink and a cigar. Stogie Geeks listeners can find a $5 off coupon on our website by clicking the HCC logo. Welcome to the Story Geek Show. I am your host this week, Joe Hozempa, and to my right is Joe D. Paul's out of studio this week, so we are uh, covering for him. It's a privilege and an honor to raise the pirate flag Once and, again. and uh, pillage through the humidor. Um, I, I voted for the Opus X. Joe D. voted for the Tatuaje 7th Kappa Special. Uh, I guess I was a good pirate today, so uh, <laughs> there you go. Uh, um, all, after Joe D introduces that uh, smoke, the Tatuaje Seventh Kappa Special, uh, we're gonna start talking a little bit. I mean, you know, there's there's a lot of hype about IPCPR, and um, leading up to IPCPR on this podcast, anyway, uh, I th- I, th- I think you know it, w- because of the schedule, uh, we were just focusing on some other stuff. And one of the things I wanted to do was take the time out uh, with Joe D and talk about uh, housekeeping uh, after IPCPR. Uh, I I have experience with uh, owning a cigar shop in the past. And then I also have experience with working in a cigar shop as well, uh, as recently as maybe uh, a year and a half ago. So, uh, you know, and, and, and there's a lot of house cleaning that goes on behind the scenes. And uh, again, uh, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening. Uh, any questions and feedback, uh, you can email joeh at stogiegeeks.com. Uh, and then also at the end of the segment, I have some some listener feedback and some of our own housekeeping that that I wanted to uh, do. And then in the next uh, section, we're going to be doing the uh, Stogies of the Week. So with that being said, why don't you introduce the Tatuaje 7th Kappa Especial. Beautiful. Uh, fan favorite of this, uh, this particular stick, um, Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper, Nicaraguan binder and filler. Uh, five and five eighths by forty six Corona Gorder was smoking. Mm-hmm. Uh, described as uh, medium to full, released in two thousand thirteen. I think with a little bit of time, it tamed down a little bit, but uh, certainly the, the flavors still play. Get that that cocoa and oakiness. Yeah, it, pretty tasty. It, it, it does. Uh, when, when when we first lit it, and we were getting some some things done here behind the scenes, um, uh, we were like, "Where's the flavor?" Right. <laughs> It took, it took a little bit to. Uh, it took to it, it took a little bit to kick in. Um, you know that, that I guess that can happen with 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 some of the tatuajes. I mean, it's 2013. I would venture to say that at the time, this had to be one of their milder smokes. Right. You know, especially not not now, and they're starting to do some of the Connecticut stuff and whatnot. Yep. But the, but the, this had to be one of their milder smokes at the time. Oh, this is smoking um, nice right now. It's 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 kicking in. Uh, it's good flavor, and you know sometimes you know I, I I like to go for the flavor over the pepper bomb or or tons of spice or, or full body. I I, oh. I do like the change, um, but w- when when we first lit it, we were both of us were, were, we're concerned. <laughs> we're, we're, <laughs> Where's we're, 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 we were kind of waiting on it, but it's kind of it's kind of kicking in now. So as we get towards the end, we can kind of rate it. Uh, I did mention this. Uh, actually, when it's funny because when, when when we were looking it up and doing some show prep, um, you know, I wanted to always smoke the Opus X, but of course, you know, uh, 
<laughs> but um, uh, I, I guess I rated this before, and, and I have to go back and, and, and check my rating. But um, maybe I'll do that for the Stogies of the Week section, see what I That's, gave it and whatnot. I can just look on the Stogie Geek site. I just uh, got too many screens here opened, right? So uh, oh. IPCPR, uh, it was all eyes on IPCPR. Um, a lot of hype and excitement this year. There's a lot of hype and excitement this year. Let me ask you this question. This is consumer. This is from the consumer perspective. Gotcha. Um, because, you know, I can give both answers from a consumer perspective and from a retailer perspective yep. um, there. And, you know, it, it, it's, it's a challenge when both the consumer and the, um, the, the, the retailer – Mingle, then obviously commerce happens, right? That's basic economics. So, what, what from a consumer perspective, do, um, you know, you, you you've been in the, the industry for a couple of years now, so you've heard about IPCPR. Do you think it's losing its hype? I think it is. You know, there's still uh, the frequency of uh, new releases mm -hmm. um, year to year seem to uh, diminish. Um, you know, the hype the hype is still strong for uh, legit cigar smokers in there you know out there I think uh, maybe uh, celebrities and various personalities could also get behind it you know and uh, foster some of uh, some of that hype that's needed mainstream wise you know mm -hmm. the cigar community is so small and uh, you know we're gonna keep this thing uh, keep this thing going enjoying mm -hmm. all these new new boutique blends uh, plus all the uh, the old favorites, you know. So you think from a consumer perspective, consumers still do get excited around the end of July, August, September. Their favorite retail stores are going to be bringing in new sticks, new, new, new debuts from the show. I do. It's and, an exciting time of year, and I visit all the shops. Now you know, I'm, I'm new to the uh, the rep game as well, so I'm seeing that that end of it. And uh, the hype's real. The uh, You think so? I think so. Okay. It, you, okay. don't, you don't disagree on this? Okay. Uh, if there was ever a time to <laughs> ticker a disclaimer yeah. underneath this <laughs> this whole thing, okay, the views and expressed of this show, of this episode, do not reflect Stogie Geeks, its management, and or its staff, <laughs> right? <laughs> right? And so, so this is the official ticker, and you have been warned, okay? This is not coming from anything Stogie Geeks, anything, any, I think, okay, so we, we've been officially warned, okay, go. This is, com this is coming from me, duly noted from me. Yep. IPCPR, when, when I had the shop, uh, and even up to, I want to say, five years ago, was a special event, okay, retail-wise. Right. And, um, you know, so in other words, you know, the, the uh, specific, re uh, specific retailers went, and specific retailers gave IPCPR specials to the retailers, that were exclusive. So in other words, they were exclusive to the shops that they represent. And the pricing was aggressive. Right. I mean, super aggressive. You know, it wasn't your standard buy five, get two, or buy right. five, get one, buy eight, get two, blah, 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 blah. And the reason why I'm being a little over dramatic about that is because of the blah, 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 blah. We well, sort of lived it. The, so the, certainly you can speak on it. Yeah. Right, but the blah, 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 blah. That's been going on now, like all these businesses uh, and all these retail shops when, when they do events. And we have a track record here from when I started co-hosting the show in January when I ask about events. There's no creativity in events. And now from an IPCPR perspective, last year, black, dark cloud. Right. right, huge dot cloud where they smoked. You couldn't smoke inside. Yeah, yeah. You, you had certain sections where you can smoke, and I get it when you have smoking regulations. But don't you do homework as to where you're gonna go? You know, if you're if you're a a a, a rock concert and uh, or a rock group or or a country, pick pick your poison, and and you go to a venue, don't you do some some work on the venue when you're creating a tour? Right? I mean, you do. So if, if, if IPCPR is, is, is a tour of the best of the best and the newest of the newest of the industry. So last year, there was that, right? Um, no, I'm sorry. I'm going two years ago. Two years ago, th there was that. You couldn't smoke in New Orleans. Right. It was crazy. People, people were like complaining about the venue, and it took away from what the event was. Exactly. Yep. Last year, 
16, right? Yeah, we're in 17. Yep. I'm good, right? I started boxing again, so I'm a little, <laughs> right? Uh, so in 16, it was the, the deadline, the deadline, the deadline, right? It, it took away. It did. Right? It yep. took away. And, and then this year, it was, well, we're past the deadline, and we still don't know what we do. And everyone that we've interviewed on the show still doesn't know. And then now, post-IPCR, there's been um, rumor to the fact that they might post it to 2021. You've heard that, right? right? So, okay. Well, we, we can save that for another episode, okay? But the past three IPCPR shows have had non cigar gossip Around them, the event, yeah. massive around them, True. right? Yep. Now, I'm not saying that good sticks weren't created from, from those from 15, 16, and 17. I'm not saying that there. So we don't need any hate mail. Joe H. at StogieGeeks.com, right? We don't need any hate mail saying, oh, no, no, no. But, but for those of us in the industry, you know how they come up with points? Like, like oh, yeah, how's IPCPR? Well, this stick came out and it was great. Oh, by the way, we couldn't smoke in, in that venue. Or there was a, like the, it, It's always in the top three. So... That dark cloud, nobody wants to talk about it in the industry, right? Nobody wants to talk about, okay, but then also the dark cloud on the retailer perspective, my opinion, right, is before they used to really give specials post-IPCPR. Actually, I, I am noticing that now, too, in all the various shops that I'm in. <laughs> they, those deals are not there. Almost, what, you know, almost a, why, do we, uh, why do we go? What's the, uh, what's the main purpose? You know, you get, a, you get a first peek at some of the stuff. Right. But... It's going to be hitting the uh, hitting the market, hitting the shelves, anyway. And if not, you know, you've already established uh, many a connection out there. It's it's going to happen. You're going to get the product anyway. So right. So at the end of the day, uh, right. Now, 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 I have had the opportunity to speak to uh, uh, business owners of of cigar sh- of of cigar shops and uh, of cigar uh, brands. Uh, pre IPCPR and post, and then you know they you know, they we have a chance. We say, hey Jojo, you know I'm like, hey, what'd you think about IPCPR? Well, it was different this year. Okay, tell me why, right? right. I'm protecting the integrity of everyone I spoke to. However, you know it, it's it's like ah, you know it, it it's like we we're being forced to to give the pricing early right. before the show. You know what I mean? Yep. And it's like not for nothing in the auto industry, right? Now the, the, the 18s are coming out, right? So right now, if, you, if you're into advertising and marketing and you're following a trend of a business that has, has been on for generations and generations, people buying automobiles, right? That they're making room for the inventory because right. auto dealerships have to pay inventory tax, right? So it's common sense. And yep. by the way, this will all be tailored in, um, uh, you know, into housekeeping with the, with the humidor because it's coming right up, right? But I'm, I'm setting the table. Right for those uh, listeners who get upset when I talk about tennis shoes, right? <laughs> yeah. right? So, so no, they 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 set the, the table for the new ones to come in, and 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 I think we do that in the cigar industry. I know I did it when we had the shop. I know I did it when I worked in the shop. Is we clear the humidor shelves. And Absolutely seeing that right now. It, okay, sure. so so right now, so so here we are, uh, post IPCPR, the deals are coming in, mm-hmm. uh, in of which I think me personally has been a dark cloud for the past couple of years of that that have taken away from the great smokes that have come out from there. Um, there, I mean, you know, should they change the format? You know, like like an idea. You know why we talk about the creativity of a cigar shop being creative about their events? You know, should it? it what goes on in a smaller nucleus goes on in a, biz- a bigger nucleus when it comes to the business model. It's common sense, sure. right? So, so, wh- so what you do is you say, okay, you know, should they change their format? Should they go back to, hey, you want these IPCPR deals? You got to get on it because the guy down the street isn't. But that's not the case anymore. And I, and I think it just takes away, it takes away from the sizzle and the hype. I think maybe a, uh, a small venue, cigars only. You, know, you cut out the uh, cut out the rest, you know the rest of the uh, tobacco industry. Just just keep it small, cigar communities. You know, very small, tight knit community, and uh, maybe a venue change. See, well, true. I, I think more a venue change than keeping it small because there's a lot of non cigar vendors in that show mm-hmm. that help the community go. True. Wh- yeah. That 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 help the community be 
what it is to back in this university amazing asset uh, 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 uh it's amazing resource uh for both the consumers the overlapping uh, apparel uh, yeah torches and sure sure else. absolutely so i don't think that change in that is i just i don't know it just it they're just there just doesn't seem as much as a hype and my question to Story Geeks audience and to the industry who listens to this podcast, because we know you do, which is great, and we thank you for that, because when we interview you, you give us the feedback from, from previous episodes. My question is, you know, as a, re- as, as, as a cigar manufacturer or, or a, a, a cigar brand, has IPCPR lost its hype and, do- and doesn't need to be changed, you know? Because I think the consumers were always going to want new stuff, regardless of any industry. Is it beneficial you know, yeah. for these individual shop owners to take a week out, X amount of money, make the trip out there? Could they stand pat in the road shops and, right, and have all this you know, right, cause before, filter to them anyway? Right, because before, you used to get the IPCPR deal if you went to the show. Right. Now, you don't even have to go to the show. And the chances are, chances are, even though they're going to debut at, at IPCPR, the samples are floating around. So, chance, so you could go a little stingy on the samples you, you, I'm hearing you, you, from yeah. the back channels. Well, you you can for sure, but that that's a you know that's that's another, that's, 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 a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a you know that's another you know I, I I still think all politicians need to take a field trip down Pennsylvania Avenue with a blank sheet of paper and a notepad and write down the inscription of the buildings. Right. And just follow it, there you go. and the world will be a better place. The same thing in the cigar industry, right? I think they just need to say, "Hey, we we, we can't do the same thing as everybody else." You know what I mean? We yep. need to we need to focus on 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 our X. And the funny thing is, the ones that do that are the ones that you know start off like here in IPCPR, and then their sales j- j- just go off. Right. You know, the ones that don't that become you know. Um, Externally centered, as opposed to internally. Well, plate fight all work. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Alter. Right. Yeah. Right. No, as opposed to no, yeah. because you know the, this is some of the things that honestly, where you know when I get to fill in a show, yep. I get to let my hair down and say, okay, listen, this is this is what's driving me crazy, you know? Because again, now, what's the incentive if you can get the stick before, if you can get the sample, even though it might be stingy with the, with the quantity, you get the sample, you get the pricing, and you don't go to show up the show, just save a couple G's. And don't go to Vegas. That's it. Because Vegas only gets you in trouble anyway. You know what I mean? Well, like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so, so I don't know. I, I just think, I just think honestly, like, like something, something needs to be done with that. And and I love the format of a uh, yearly uh, convention for any industry. It's great to have that. I'm not saying that 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 should be taken away. I'm just saying that that should be built upon and improved upon. To smoke in, to, to focus on the positive smokes or positive products that have been launched from that particular event. I that's agree. all I'm saying. That's yep. all. That's all I'm saying. In that, you know, have the specials be true specials. You know, because I I have gone. I I like you travel around. We go to a ton right. of retail stores. We're probably in four or five a week different re, re, retail stores, if not more. Sometimes a so, day. Yeah. No. No. Yeah, no. Seriously. Right. right? It yeah. just it, 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 it's just it's just the way that it is, and that's the feedback that I got. Is wow, I got to make room for this stuff, and and there's really no there's really no steals. Right. I mean, I, I, are you getting the same feedback? Absolutely. And, okay. Uh, just uh, from my perspective, um, just the, the hype and excitement with new products coming out and you know, reshuffling the deck in the humidor. Mm-hmm. Maybe the uh, little bit of pricing change, depending. You know, some new stuff's coming out. Maybe the hop on that. You could probably uh, no, spawn on that. You know, business wise. Well, let's talk about that. Like, like uh, jockeying, jockeying for, for position uh, too. Yeah, that, you, you know, you, those perfect. Uh, you know, eye, eye level, front and center. You know, uh, front front of the case there, and it's um, it's interesting. You know, and see who's moving back, who's moving up. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, you know, I don't want to point out in, anybody in particular, but uh, you know, for and for you know, new new product line to come in, somebody's got to go. You know, somebody's got to hit the uh, the sin bin, the, well, bar, the bargain basement bin. And well, uh, 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 you know, I think from a retail perspective, um, sin bin. I like it. <laughs> I, th- I think from a retail perspective, uh, sometimes um, going in the bargain bin, uh, it doesn't. It's not necessarily a reflection of your product. No. It's nope. it's a reflection of your products not moving at that specific location. Right, and it's funny because I speak to tobacconists uh, around uh, around the, the the United States, right, uh, on a frequent basis who own different shops, and I ask what the you know what's selling, 
You know, what, what's selling? And it's amazing how geographically different things sell uh, different for no, for no rhyme or reason other than that's just their demand. No more is that apparent than uh, you, know, you, you happen to hop into uh, you know, different humidor in various states, different parts of the country. You're going to see a totally different selection and product placement, where it is, top shelf, bottom mm-hmm. shelf, everything in between. Mm-hmm. Um, it's interesting. It's fun. So you, can, you know, that's part of the fun uh, too. Going on that scavenger hunt, trying to find those those favorites that are front and center up here, and uh, kind of tabled mm-hmm. in other areas. So clearing the humidor. Uh, I know what we did when when we owned the shop. You know, you got to remember, uh, it was it was ninety eight through two thousand five. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it was a different cigar time there. Uh, this, this is all pre MySpace. Oh yeah, like MySpace yep. just started. Yep, there was no social media presence. MySpace was mostly music and getting in touch with old friends, and that was it. You never used it from a business perspective unless you were a band. Right, right. So you know that's that. And then so you know we we had a website. Um, you know, building designing websites was way different than what it is now. Uh, there was a website store, which consists of you dialing the number, and I was taking a credit card over the phone, <laughs> and then walking to the post office and shipping it. And hopefully, we didn't eat too much on shipping because we, you know, yep. guessed it wrong or right or you know, yes, we broke even on shipping. We're good, you know. <laughs> but but no, I mean, it was just a different time versus now, where I think that the industry is um, getting cigar consumers that can throw a search into Google and search for a product and then have it delivered at their door. And, and it's funny because I see... It's social media hype train and, and all the uh, facts and figures, all the stats, everything is uh, rich fingertips, you know, and profiles, everything is, is right there. You know, even before you're smoking that, uh, that's like cheating to me to, uh, to get in there and size up a cigar before you even get into it. I like to, I don't know about you, Joe, but I, I like to get into it myself. Like actually go there and shop? Shop and, and, and every cigar too. Before you smoke it, before you, you get the full breakdown uh, of what's in it. So, and well, it, some cigars are treasure. Some cigars are uh, like tokens. Like the, I, I call them treasure hunters. Like the, right. the people who, who treasure. And, and, and I have a friend, Walter, who's, who's a dear friend of mine. Oh, uh, Walter. And, oh, yeah. and, and, and he's, he's a, now, now uh, my suggestion is if you want to make your life as easy, easier like mine, find yourself a friend who's a treasure hunter and does all the work. Because Walter will be like, hey, man, found this. They only make, you know, two boxes in the world. Uh, you want to go half on it? Yeah, man, how much? Boom, done. Gets delivered to his house. He meets me. Have a good time. And then there you go. Done. If you find yourself a treasure hunter, it makes your life a lot easier. Because I couldn't imagine, like, shopping for, for all of that. But then again, you got to look at what I do for a living, be, being in advertising. And, 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 you know, we're, we're con- I'm constantly doing that anyway oh, for yeah. my clients. Yep. So the thought of me personally shopping online is like, oh, is like, you know. But, you know, if, if I'm looking for something specific, you know, mm-hmm. like we, you know, like, uh, like we discussed on a couple episodes ago, like the Paul Gamarian cigars, we're not getting those anywhere in Rhode Island. Nope. You know, so uh, guess you gotta, what? You seek those out. You, you got to go, go and seek those out. Right. But talking about getting back to the clearing of the shelves. So what we did was we, we at first we would just say, you know, we have IPCPR coming, and you have your, your group of nucleus people and blah, blah. We're going to aggressively uh, price these cigars. And then we never did, we never did, and I guess one's one in the same accounting-wise, we never did, like, buy three, get one. We never did that. We right. ne- whenever we had an event, which, pff, I mean, at the time we had two events a year. You know what I mean? Yep. And one event was a bus trip to the Poconos. So you stay overnight, group of guys, bus trip, they golf, bing, bang, boom, and then do that. And another one was maybe a rep would come in once a year, maybe twice a year, and it was packed. Like, I mean, standing room only, standing right. eating food, you know, and, and, and it was a little shop and it was packed because we never had a lot of them. Right. And now I see, again... The older machine, and, and, and I see this in a lot of industries, so I'm not, I'm not picking on the cigar industry no, sure at all. I see I have this conversation, believe me, I have this conversation every other business day. 
right. it, about you have an older machine, like an IPCPR level show, right. yearly event, but you have a newer business model, like a social media. So people already should know if they're avid social media users of what's going to come up with IPCPR. It's true. So what's the what's the incentive? Like what what should be done differently? And and believe me, I I, I could start rattling off business types, restaurant types, uh, when 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 it comes to to business stuff. I'd love to hear the uh, the listener feedback on this one because uh, it should be all over the board and uh, everything in between. Well, no, I mean it's it's just one of those things because you know it, it, it's it's an older business model and 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 I wonder, like is because I have heard from a reliable source. Like, uh, when this came out of this guy's mouth, I was like, whoa, really? Right. Like, in three years, uh, IPCPR is like, well, yeah, well, we're not going, or they're just not. They're phased out. It's, uh, it's not. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. Like, you get, you, you, that's your, that's your, your, that's the industry's voice. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Like, so you can't take a, you, you can't cry. Right? There's no crying in business, right? And that includes the cigar industry. You can't take away your yearly voice. Yep. And then complain that you, you, about what's potentially happening with, with regulation. It's because you have a show like that that you get the community collectively involved. So you need that mouthpiece moving And forward. you get that. And that's, that's your giant microphone right. moving forward in the event that you get heavily regulated or in the event that you can re-collaborate with everyone. Right. So you can't take that away. It's crazy. You know what I mean? You're right. you're a stock car. I think we're going. We're, we're not using the eight cylinders. Too heavy. The engine's too heavy. We're gonna go four. You know what I mean? Unless you're a really good driver and you got like a bazooka on the top of your thing and you can start <laughs> shooting cars out of your way, you're gonna lose the race. Yeah. You know. And it's a funny thing because when you talk business acumen, like nobody mentions that. That's why I did the official disclaimer, right? I did the official disclaimer before. This. Nobody mentions that. And and it's like you know, great, yeah, you know, but. How we made room for the humidor is we would uh, aggressively price the sticks. So we would say, okay, it used to be, you know, uh, seven seventy five. We'll make it this and blah blah blah, and and then try to blow them out, right. and then Just do try that. Move it. Yep. But you got to remember, it wasn't a social media post, and people potentially came or didn't come because that's a whole other argument, right? But. You know, it, it, it was a, a good people doing that and then making room and then what we did was if we did a cigar dinner around that that would be the stick that we used right. we never engaged in a rep like we never we never engaged in a rep to come uh at, you know El Toro Fluente still was tough to deal with you order 12 boxes they ship you six pay for 12 yep. <laughs> you know they give you four of what you don't need <laughs> that that hasn't changed much in the industry because again when i visit these these, these cigar shop owners it's the same arguments it says it doesn't go away i do see the uh, the blown out of sticks uh via, you know the weekly dinners a lot of a lot of the shops will do that you know, wednesday night thursday night cigar dinner and you have to you certainly have to get uh creative to move that Price and sticks uh, aggressively as well, yeah. you know. Um, and there's certain, yeah, obviously uh, certain sticks that if you're afforded the luxury to uh, to table them, you mm-hmm. know, if, if you're going to take them off and let it sit for a few more years, mm-hmm. um, yeah, there's varying levels for sure. I think something needs to be done to make it a little bit more uh, a little bit more uh, exciting for because uh, I think the only exciting part of it is two part the people who go there. Yeah, they get a chance to meet with everyone and, 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 and see some friends and collaborate. And, and, and you get to try a, a bunch of new stuff that, you know, uh, I'm excited that a couple shops here in New England or, dare I say, Rhode Island are going to get stuff that's not available until, you know, that side, the west side of the Mississippi. Right. So it does have its point and it does have its positiveness. But again, what... At what cost to the retailers that actually venture out there and the ones that don't, the smaller shops that either don't put it in their market or don't go. And I've spoken to people who have religiously gone to IPCPR and they're like, yeah, man, I'm out. I'm not going. Like, that's just, you know. And and so it's not like I'm just ranting. I'm going by feedback. It sounds like to me being an outsider from, you know, the IPCPR, IPCPR I have yet to go. Um, 
it's like uh, it's like an old home week, like you said. Friends, family get together. It's a nice nice trip, atmosphere. But the cigar show is on the back burner, which you know should be the uh, first and foremost uh, reason you're there. I think it should be because again, you have a chance to go and try uh, different uh, blends and brands and products right. and. Um, you know, uh, swag maybe, you know, or, you know, stuff that is not totally... Spend that, that quality you know, time with the little guy and, on and, the up and come, you and, know? And it used to be important for the retailers that would go. It was it was an incentive for them to go. Right. And then now, uh, I don't know if it's because there's too many retailers or because... That's a valid point. Or, or because... That's a valid point here in Rhode Island, right, especially. Right, is there too many retailers or it's because, you know... Is when the, the, I'm gonna see it because of the power of the internet. I can get the pricing and see the product. You might be able to touchy feel the product, right. but you can you can view the product and and, yep. and 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 who knows what what I I that is I think a purchasing um, factor as well. I, I think that 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 that's so all these little factors play into an older. Business system, right. and let's face it, cigar with the rolling and the process and the passion and everything, uh, is 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 an older business model, but it's in a newer time. So uh, I just wanted to run that by the listeners here, um, and and kind of see and and let you know and, and kind of get your feedback. I don't know, uh, you know, may, maybe I am on the money. And uh, maybe this is a, a good awakening for uh, some of the other people to say, you know, l- l- let's try to improve it. Well, be an well, offbeat topic nobody wants to talk about, but it certainly has relevance and this relevance is- moving forward. Because yeah, go ahead. You know, it's uh, you know, before we know it, we're going to be there again. It's going to be uh, 2018. Yeah, the next event and what has changed. This is the stuff that goes on in my head. Like, what's the future of this industry? Like, what what is the future of of this industry? We have, you know. Uh, I love IPCPR because, let's face it, as a consumer, I love smoking new stuff. Absolutely. Right? Christmas. Love smoking new stuff, yeah. right? Love the classics, but I love it when the uh, brands and blends or older companies as well, because they're in this mix, push the limits. Like the fact that... The yeah, well, Ritmo? Uh, well, well, yeah. That's, that's, see, that's where I was going. Like the fact that, like, I don't know, maybe four years ago off the top of my head... Um, Romeo and Julieta comes up with a Nicaraguan. You're like, what? Right. Like, well, what? Now, granted, it, 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 it did have its growing pain, sure. Right. Some people liked it, some people didn't. But the fact that Romeo and Julieta, a classic facing, mm. now makes a Nicaraguan cigar is fascinating from a business perspective. Like, just from a sheer business perspective. It's an aggressive if, take. If that doesn't get people talking. Wow factor, yep. Then, then no, 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 what people do is they review it. Hey, yeah, I liked it, didn't like it, but... Whatever the case may be. Let's talk about the fact that an older business model changed. And look at Avo. Right. Avo, classics forever. Yep. And then they come up with the Synchro series, which it's a game changer for Avo. Yep. But you know what I like about it is they still have that Avo, which I dub Avo smoothness. Okay. Where it, there's a crispness to the palate yep. when you're smoking an Avo. You know what I mean? Even the Ritmo, which has got a lot of stuff going on in there, they, they, there's a Christmas to uh, a crispness to it. Unbanded, uh, you should be able to pick that up. <laughs> it's it's one of those yeah one of those uh, brands that that stick out for right, sure. Right, right. Yeah. So let's get back on the consumer track now. I, I think we've we've uh, we've talked about that. Let's talk about what do you think? What are you looking forward to to IPCPR 17 coming out? A couple of sticks that are on the top of the noggin over there. Uh, Cornelius and Anthony, they've, uh, they've had four different, uh, legit sticks, uh, previously they've come out with, mm-hmm. and it could be mistaken. I, I think they come out with the four new ones. Steve Sock is working on some, uh, some new stuff that just, uh, released Southern Draw, Jacob's Ladder, which, mm-hmm. uh, I have had the opportunity to smoke and, uh, complete game changer. Powerful as hell. Mm. Oh, hell. Stop in the tracks. Um... Black Label, Black Label's uh, on the move. Mm. Yeah. They got a ton there. One, uh, one store in Round, in particular, uh, Vintage down there in Westerly, uh, they've got a, a full assortment, and I, I see the rest of uh, rest of that coming online 
Surely up here. Mm -hmm. Have you had the AJ Fernandez New World Piero Special? Negative. No. Had that kid was debuted at the IPCPR. You've had it. Yeah. You want to? You want to know why I speak of the truth? All right. I had it before the IPCPR in a local shop. So I'm like, what? Go. Right. And and and, and and that and that's where some of the ideas. You saved yourself two thousand dollars. <laughs> no, <laughs> two thousand dollars. That's where. That's where they're, they're like, Jojo, why don't you why don't you try this? I'm like, oh, this is IPC. I'm like. Hmm. Aren't you going to IPC? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this no. hasn't happened yet. Right? And I'm like, what, would you get a time machine? Like, yeah. what, what? And then he starts talking. He's like, and then he says, nah. He's like, they come out with them. And, and, and I'm like, come on. I'm like, really? So, so I, don't need, I don't need that knowledge in this head. You know what I mean? I got enough right. trouble. I got enough trouble. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yep. <laughs> Doing that. And, and then that was one of the, the topics of discussion. It's like, okay, you know, sure. So I had it. I will talk about it in the Stogies of the Week, so I won't bore you with the, with the details. But it's the AJ Fernandez, New World, Piero, Special. And uh, I'll talk about that at the Stogies of the Week. But that came out. Black Label came up with um, uh, a, a couple of new sticks. Uh, over there, you said Cornelius and Anthony, Steve Saka. I mean, if that doesn't excite you, the man is like, an like think about machine. Like think about right. it. the guy. The, I, I honestly, I, I he he he's uh, amazing with the delivery and the product and how it's backed up. I don't. I I uh, I think Paul interviewed him at some a bunch of points. He was talking. I cannot wait. About a year ago, I, I for the an opportunity. For the could, to, for, can you imagine? Like it would be like the other episode where I'd be like asking, like Steve, some, you're out there, you're watching like, this, get like in touch, some, let's do it. Yeah, uh, yeah. If anybody knows Steve Saka, have him email Joe H at StoryGeeks.com. <laughs> set up the uh, set up the interview. I I because I, uh, I want to talk business, like a true business, right. because it, some you know. Some some companies go out and they spend a lot of marketing dollars and they spend marketing dollars and they position for humidor space and whatnot. And then, like I said, he he. This his, might be a subject matter that he really sinks his teeth into. I I, I think like from, I wonder uh, it, it could be luck. Like I believe me, I've 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 interviewed plenty of businesses where I've done uh, out of the cigar industry uh, with what I do for my business, and I'm like, oh, but you plan this, and they're like, yeah, Joe, it's luck. Like we we, I'm like, really. I'm like, because you do this well. You know what I mean? And, and you've been doing Lightning it. struck six times? And, 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 I don't think so. Well, no, you know. That's a different well, skill set. Well, right you know, some, some businesses get a pass when it comes to consumer stuff, you know. It, it, but his stuff is just so, it's unique. You know what I mean? And what I mean by unique is that, you know how some some brands, they kind of smoke the same. I've mentioned that in, in, in our stogies of the week. Right. His stuff oh, is. Oh, it sits alone. It sits, it sits alone. And it's positioned for, I believe, every type of smoker. And, you know, like I said, uh, I'll put on an APB on him. I'd love to interview him over here on, on Story Geeks, either via Skype or, or uh, in I'm gonna studio. I'm going to reach out to him uh, at Facebook there. Oh, yeah? Fortunate enough yeah, to have a few conversations, but he's a New England guy. Hopefully to get him, you know, get him in there from New Hampshire. Yeah, that'd be, it'd be so nice. cool because, I, I again, I, you know, it, 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 just a pure business discussion. I want to talk about new plan. I want to talk about like like how you keep rolling because you know I'm not asking for for industry trade secrets. This is we're not. This is this is like it's a business, right? And the cigar companies that treat it like a business get it, and there's and there's some that. Are still hanging on to the passionate side of stuff, and there's nothing wrong with having. He's able to straddle both sides of the fence, better side of it, uh, and have a following, and have a incredible. following. Yep. Like a, uh, you know, I've heard stories about him walking the floor IPCPR, and just like total, just he, he's he, and it's amazing because it's a business, right? It's a business, a business decision. Then you have other companies that spend for that type of exposure. So what is it? Is it is it the passion, the blend, the or is it just track record of just producing stuff that appeals yep. to a wide variety of cons of consumers? Right. You know, it's crazy. Interesting. It's crazy. Uh, anything else you're looking forward to from, from that, or you know, no? Those, those are pretty. Uh, did you have any of the black, the new black label stuff? I did. I'm going to review uh, one of them. Uh, the next segment. So begin with N. It's a long word. No, no. I have no. one. It was a label, and then I, 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 
I did, I did my show then, like a half hour, so I couldn't like look it up. I stuck the label in my wallet, yep. and, and that was it. And it's uh, black label. It's under the black label umbrella. However, it's uh, uh, they've got a little little bit of a spinoff. It was a petite Lancero phenomenal stick. Mm -hmm. uh, can't wait to talk about the next. Uh, episode. Okay, cool. Couple of housekeeping notes before we go. Uh, if you email, uh oh, I <laughs> I got IPCB. Uh, got a few coming in hot. Oh yeah, I got it. Okay, wait a minute. How do you do this live now? <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I got a couple of IPCPR emails. Uh, however, um, thank you for. The feedback on the IPCPR emails, I will address them. Uh, my email is joeh at stogiegeeks.com, but I have an email here. Um, I have an email uh, here uh, from Wesley. Uh, Wesley emails me uh, a lot. Uh, I did not, Wesley, full disclaimer, I did not get a chance to speak to Jake yet to get that cigar. I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to hone him down and... Also, to get me into Providence is usually an act of Congress, so uh, I kind of go around it and, you know, over there. But uh, uh, I have not forgotten uh, that. But Wesley gave us feedback about the uh, last interview that we've had, uh, and he wanted to talk about the uh, Jose Cala. And, and, and the one, sorry. the one that, the, yeah, the one that has the foot on the band, that was the one that we were smoking, right? I'm, I'm asking you. Has a foot has a has a a, a, a foot uh, a foot on the wrapper. That was right? a special stick released uh, a couple of years back. Uh, that is not available. Not yet. It's coming back. Okay. So the answer, Wesley, is <laughs> it's not available. <laughs> it's it's coming back. Stay um, tuned. Stay stay tuned for that uh, stick. Do you know happen to know the name of that or? No, I don't. No. Okay. It, can you can <laughs> you get phenomenal. that for me Absolutely. within the next couple? Absolutely. And then either text it to me because I I like to email. What I like to do with the links is say, okay, this is what we talked about. Thank you for your feedback. Here's the link. Let me know. This way, you know, we, we have dialogue going back and forth. So, um, yeah, apparently, uh, Wesley, that stick uh, will not be around for a while. That, correct me if I'm wrong, that was the first stick that he had blended yes. for Jose Cala, right? Right? He had yep. blended for his uncle. Yep, yep. his uncle uh, had, had blended for him. And we had it. It was phenomenal. Truly special. It, it, yeah. it was a truly special stick. And that's not coming back? Oh, that is, that is. Nope, that's the one uh, that will be back. Okay, so it will be back. And it's not available uh, yet there. The other, the regular Jose Cala is called what? It's just Jose Cala? Jose Cala yep. uh, Habano. Okay, Jose Cala Habano is the one that, that, that is available. So that answers Wesley. And thank you for your feedback, Wesley, on that. And then also Tony. Tony goes back, Tony S. goes back to my rum show, and my, my rum show was back in April, right, and I apparently sent Tony on a wild goose chase when it came to rum. He was looking for Oasis rum, and what it was was um, it was a line of products called Island Oasis, that actually mix with the rum. So in other words, if you Google uh, Island Oasis rum, um, I said Oasis because in the logo, again, this is where my marketing kicks in, uh, it just says Oasis rums on it. Um, but the proper name is Island Oasis rums. And with that, um, it, you can find all the different blends. And the point I was making that is if you're going to mix it with stuff, you don't need to spend a lot of money on the actual rum. So right. if you have like a Ron Zacapa yep. or uh, I think the one that we used, he also wanted to know the one that we used. It was the Pala, right? Yes. Yeah, it was the Pala rum, the one that we kept on, on the, the kitchen shelf, according to your email. Aged in so, uh, Angel, Angel's Envy uh, bourbon barrels. Yep, it was, yep. It was uh, aged in uh, Angel's Envy bourbon barrels. I actually took a picture of it, Tony. So I will uh, email you that picture. Uh, back so you can try that. That's the rum that you would have, like in my opinion, the Ron Zacapa have by itself. Uh, if you're going to spend good money, there's no need to 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 mix it with anything. Just kind of let it breathe. Um, couple cubes. A couple cubes. Some people like the s solid sphere cubes. I've gotten some feedback on that. Yep. What do you think about the solid sphere cubes? cubes uh my buddy ian has solid sphere cubes like the death star makes any drink amazing 
you know, the death star from Star yep. Wars. It's amazing, right? I'm like, this is so cool. But anyway, right? <laughs> so <laughs> they're out there. You can pick those up. I, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm not hell-bent on cubes versus a sphere. Right. Some people like the sphere. It's easier. They can re rekindle it. It makes it colder. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm a kind of uh, uh, e easy-going type person. I'm not f fanatical. I just... What drives me nuts is if you're going to spend money on, say, a good like Ron's the Copper Rum or spend like on the, the, the Palat, it's right. been aged in Angel's yep. Envy, let it go by itself. If you're going to mix the Dude, Island the Oasis stuff, right, yep. instead of the Oasis stuff, if, if you're going to mix that, you, you, you can get away with, sure. with, with cheaper rums. How's that Capo Special, Drew? Um, yeah, we're wrapping up with the Capo Special. I don't know. I, I like it. Like I said, uh, at the time, I would venture to say this had to be one of the mildest sticks that they that they came right. up with, you know, because they were doing uh, the uh, the M eighties at the time, right. uh, coming out there and, and and some of the other stronger stuff. But I mean, burns well, constructions well, uh, it, it's tasty, it's flavorful. Right. It's not overpowering. That oakiness is and, uh, and most prominent for me. Yeah, the, the oakiness is there. The smoke's a little sparse, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, the. Uh, yeah, the smoke's the smoke's a little sparse uh, there. Draws good, you know. Uh, I, I'd give it a fiver. What would you think? I'm between a fiver and a box split. Yeah, um, you know, they're good sticks to right have there, around. Right there with it. They're, they're good sticks to have around. They're they're, they're priced well. Right. You know, they 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 are priced well. Eight to nine dollar price point. Yep. Yep. Um, hold on, bitch. Maybe have a blast. We we got a head start. I'm loving this listener feedback. Okay, this, is, this is live listener feedback. So this is Beautiful. come and, and and then we're gonna end this segment for those for those of you uh, watching. Okay, uh, Russell writes in. Okay, IPCPR has lost its edge a little big. <laughs> yeah, right. So think about this. Think about this. IPCPR has lost its edge a little big. I mean, those who go have a blast, um, and they get. But before they used to get a head start on some of the brick and mortars, and it gives them a taste and the story behind, which I think is is precious. Amazing point Russell makes, right? Because right? yep. before before they they, they they would get the story behind the, the stick and get the people and meet the people, and that's ultimately when you talk about humidor clearing right. and humidor customer service from a consumer perspective, when you say, oh, yeah, I met so-and-so at IPCPR. This is a great stick. It comes from Nicaragua. It comes from here. This is awesome, blah, blah, blah. That's what sells some of the consumer, right? So he says... Gotta love the backstory. That's yeah, so, so it actually brings up a good point. He says, so if you can order first and even uh, have an exclusive, it's a huge business point. However, um, if the stick if the stick is not good, what's great about the way IPCPI used to be is if the stick is not good, it can save the business owner cash. There you go. Yep. Right? Yep. True points, right? Yep. Hopefully they move it around and it'll really have some uh, new interesting themes to grow on the crowds uh, bringing in the party and enough to show them. But, but that seems to be that, that that's all they do is just show them a party. Right. Just feedback. Yep. Right. Yep. Um, amazing. Feedback right there. Right. Yep. Um, uh, do I know any great Connecticut broadleafs that are coming out? Great question. You get back to. Uh, I will get back to you on that one because I am not good at reading live stuff and doing that, but that's okay. We'll, we're, we're we're making it happen. But Russell, thank thank you for the feedback and thank you for listening. Uh, I will get back to you. Uh, to find out if 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 there's any good uh, Connecticut's uh, coming out, I've actually had a couple that were at the show um, that they didn't debut at the show, but they came out a couple years back, but they weren't available uh, on the East Coast, and now they are going to be available on the East Coast at at a couple of shops. So I'll keep you posted with that. So any questions on IPCPR? Uh, again, th this is just coming from uh, myself uh, with the chiming in of, 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 of Joe D. So that's our official disclaimer. We don't need anybody emailing <laughs> Paul saying, you know, oh, what, what's, what's, but I, I think it's just questions that need to be had because like the listener said on the fly, all it is is a good time now. Right. Right. It's right. a good time and it's fun to have a good time. And I get that. But it's like, 
that is your microphone. If this cigar industry were ever to have to fight back, their main microphone in main stance would have to be at a big show, such as an IPCPR. Something to think about. Stay tuned. Next, we're going to be talking about Stogies of the Week.